Hello crafty friends, it's Erica, Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys are doing great today. I am coming on with a project share. Um, I did pick up this Cricut Foil Acetate. It's called Love Note Sampler. Um, I did pick it up off of Amazon and this is perfect for Valentine's Day crafting. Um, especially if you're wanting to make really cute boxes and that's what I wanted to do so that's why I picked it up but this foil acetate comes with um, 16 sheets of 12 by 12 and there's four different designs and they're all super super cute let me just show you really quick I've already you know played with it but this one is like a polka dot and it's really hard to see but it has um, it's like a pink, like a hot pink color, if you can see that in the reflection. Uh, you have to trust me, it's so, so pretty. So there's that one, and then I especially love the hearts. See, if you can see that reflection, that's like a hot pink. And um, there is this style right here with these hearts. These are like a light pink with the cascading hearts, super, super pretty. There's that page, and then let's see what else is there. There's this one right here, and it's like iridescent cascading hearts. Again, super, super pretty. I am absolutely loving this acetate paper. So, so cute. And then this one is like little flowers. Almost reminds me of like poinsettias, but um, look at that. They're iridescent, and then you get four sheets of like four different colors in each pattern. So that's what I loved about this one. I especially loved the polka dot acetate. Um, this one's iridescent, um, super, super pretty. So again, you get four different designs in this pack and it's absolutely amazing. And you could use this in so many different projects, not just uh, Valentine's Day stuff, but um, let me get to the project. So I went crazy and I made several little boxes uh, for my sons uh, to gift to their girlfriends. And um, I made three, actually I made uh, a few different sizes. This particular one looks like this, and I think it came out so, so cute. Um, I just wrapped it with this pretty pink and gold ribbon that I have in my stash. I attached a little heart with a little um, clasp up here. And then um, I didn't add any treats to this one yet, but I just wanted to show you that really pretty iridescent heart um, acetate paper. It's super pretty, and I am just loving the size of this box. These ones I actually did feel, fill with the Hershey Kisses, and they're gonna put these in their little gift bags for their girlfriends, and so I just thought this was so, so cute. And look at the hearts on this one. This one is the red foil um, acetate and it sparkles and it's just gorgeous. And that ribbon is the ribbon I just recently picked up from Joann's and I think it's so pretty. Um, and the bottom, I did use heavyweight cardstock for the base and then obviously I used the acetate for the lid or for the top and I just think it's adorable. These, this, this one, I just stamped out Happy Valentine's Day and again, used this really pretty ribbon. Again, those are the um, iridescent hearts if you can see that so cute and i did a pink base on the bottom of this one and then i have this one right here again it's ready to go it has the hershey kisses and different flavors and it just says happy valentine's day comma love and i just thought that was adorable so i'm loving loving these cute little boxes so i made um four of those and then i actually did make um a couple in different sizes so i made one in this particular size right here and I love this size, and this one holds the Hershey Kisses as well. And I only put a few in there. I actually could put more um, in there if I wanted to. Um, and again, just use that really pretty ribbon that I just picked up from Joann's. And this is the base of the box with the pink um, cardstock. And so I made that style. And I have this one right here. I didn't put anything in this one, but this is the uh, pink base. And when you open it up, it just looks like this, in case you're wondering and it just you just slide it in your box and then wrap it with the ribbon isn't that gorgeous i love i'm in love with this acetate paper it's so pretty so i made a couple of those in that size right there 
And then I was like, let's try, once you learn how to make these, they're really, really simple. So I was like, you know what? I wanna make a bigger one. <laughs> so I just started playing with different sizes and just kind of going up in the measurements. And so I actually made a larger size one and I absolutely love the size of this one. And I think that this would be so much fun uh, to uh, gift a package for Happy Mail. If you're doing a Happy Mail swap, this would be a beautiful box to present uh, Happy Mail in. And again, this beautiful ribbon is the ribbon I just picked up from Joann's. Um, so if you didn't get a chance to go into Joann's for Valentine's Day, definitely go check out their clearance after tomorrow. <laughs> um, see if you can pick some of this pretty ribbon up. But um, this is a, uh, the larger size compared to this one. I mean, check that out. Isn't that awesome? I love the way that these boxes came out. I think they're so pretty. And then um, I did use a die to create this pillow box and I just wanted to play with the acetate with a, um, a steel rule die. And this is actually a Spellbinders pillow box that I've had in my stash, just using the really pretty heart foil acetate. And then I slapped on that jumbo vinyl bow that I just recently made with that, um, that smooth faux leather glitter paper. Oh, I mean, not paper, but fabric. It's so pretty and just wrap some ribbon around it. Look how pretty that is. All I have to do is slide the ribbon off and insert the goodies and it's ready to go. So that's another box that I made with the acetate. And the last one that I made looks like this and it's really hard to see. And I used a different um, foil uh, acetate by Cricut. I can't remember the name of this one but it actually has like these, I don't know if you can see it because it's so light. It has like light little circles on it. And I just added some cute little shred and this is actually um, a Spellbinders die that creates this little gift box in here and I just put some shred in it. And again, I just wanted to show you guys how fun it is to make these boxes out of acetate. It's just so much fun and I love the presentation and um, it's hard to see because this one is so clear, but it has like a wavy edge right here on the little um, closure, which I love. I'll link all the product information in the description box below. Um, I, if you'd like to stay tuned, I'm gonna do a tutorial on the three size boxes that I created. I'll show you how to make this one, I will show you how to make this one, and then I'll show you how to make the small ones as well, because I know you guys are gonna wanna make some of these. All right, so stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back to show you how to create the small version of this box right here. This box measures two, um, two by two in case you're wondering. So we're gonna do this one first. You're gonna start off with a piece of cardstock measuring four and one sixteenth by four and one sixteenth of an inch. And um, I have my, um, the works um, all-in-one tool that I'm gonna be using today. I'm just going to flip this over because I'm gonna be just doing the scoring. Uh, so I want it to be able to butt up against this part right here, like so. So the first score mark that we're gonna do is at one inch. So you're gonna score at one inch and basically you're going to rotate and score one inch on all four sides, like so. And then you will have something that looks like this. And then what you're gonna do, this is the base of your um, box. And now for the lid, you're gonna want a piece of cardstock that is six by six. So I'm just gonna score it on the opposite side of the color. And on the six by six um, sheet, we're gonna score at the two inch mark on all four sides. So you just score, rotate your cardstock, rotate, and you will have something that looks like this. And I'm trying to, to show you, it's hard to show you with the foil acetate, um, but you can see where the score lines are. All right, so next what we're going to do, um, we're going to take this piece and we're going to make some cuts in this so we can make the box. And it's super, super simple. All right, so we're going to cut right here. And then we're going to cut at an angle. So we have something that looks like this. Okay, and then we're going to come over to this one and do the same exact thing, cut up, and then cut up to the score line at an angle. Okay, 
So you have something that looks like this. And then you're gonna rotate it, cut up. And again, cut up so that you have another little triangle that looks like this. And then you're going to rotate it one more time and you're going to cut up and then again at an angle like so. So you're gonna have something that looks like this and you're gonna fold on all the score lines. So go ahead and, oops, I just bent that. Fold down and I'm just gonna move that off to the side. I do have my bone folder and I love this Teflon bone folder. It makes the crease it creases the paper very, very nicely, so I love it. I'm gonna use it all the time. I recommend a Teflon bone folder if you do not have one. Let's make sure we get every score mark, or score line, because you want it to have a nice finish. Make sure that's not poking out. I think I'm gonna cut this at a diagonal a little bit better. There. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to add our adhesive, and we're going to create the box. Super, super easy. I have my glue gun ready to go. So I'm just gonna put a little glue and I'm going to line it up carefully and just push. And I do wanna recommend you use a heavyweight cardstock for the base of your box. It'll just hold nicely um, with whatever items you decide to put in it. Um, so I highly recommend heavyweight cardstock if you have it. However, it will work with a 65 pound weight as well. So you're just gonna go around the edges of each side of the box and you're going to adhere, adhere it. And now this side, and I have to add another little glue. A glue stick to my gun, it's getting low and Fold it in, push down, and then we have one side left. And we're going to adhere this one. And you will have something that looks like this. So this is the base of your box. Now you wanna take the acetate that you scored. Oops, not that one. This one over here. That's for the next box. Okay, so you have this acetate that you scored at the two inch mark. Um, so we're going to cut up the score line like so. And then we're going to cut four of these corners off to create the lid. So you're just gonna cut that up, take that off. Just follow the score line. Make sure you have good light so you can see the score line because it's kind of hard to see with the foil acetate. And again, you're just cutting off the four corners. It's gonna look like a cross when you're done. And this is the last one. And cut up. Okay, so you're gonna have something that looks like this. Now you're going to move these off to the side. Definitely save these, because you can use them on another project. You might even be, yeah, you could even line the inside of your box if you wanted to. Okay, I'm just gonna put that off to the side. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fold on the crease lines. Again, take your bone folder, give it a good crease. And we're gonna do that to all four sides. Okay, so then you have your box that looks like this. Now at this point, you're gonna fill it with your candy. So stuff it in with your candy. And then you're gonna take the lid and you're just going to stuff it in the box like so, okay? So it's gonna look like this, and at that point, after you have your candy in here, that's when you get to do the fun part, and you will 
add your pretty ribbon, tie it with the ribbon and add your little sentiment or add a little dangle up here, however you wanna decorate it. So that's box number one. Okay, so here's box number two and it looks like this. This one measures, let's see, three, it's three by three, three by three by one inch in case you're wondering the size. This one is super cute. So I'm gonna show you how to create this one. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're going to take one piece of cardstock and this cardstock measures five by five, okay? And I'm using this really pretty red smooth glitter cardstock that I recently picked up. It's gorgeous, but I'm flipping it over to do the scoring. So what you're gonna do is your, four, your first score mark is gonna be at a half an inch. So score down at a half an inch. The next score line is at one inch. And basically what you're gonna do is you're going to rotate your paper and score at the half inch and the one inch until all four sides are scored, okay? Just like so. And then you will have something that looks like this. All right, so all of the lines are scored as you can see. And I've already um, marked the X's on the boxes that we're going to um, cut off that we don't need. So as you can see, there's the three around um, the corners on all four sides that we're gonna cut off. So we're gonna go ahead and cut those off. So carefully follow the score line as, as best as you can. I cannot cut a straight line to save my life, I feel like, but I do my best. See, I just, um, I, I do like to uh, give my box a little slant so I cut it at an angle. So I just did that right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off. We're gonna cut that box away. Okay, so we're gonna have something that looks like this. And now we're gonna do the same thing here. I cut at an angle, carefully follow the score line. And cut, cut it off completely like so. So you're gonna have something that looks like this. And then we're gonna keep rotating till all four sides are cut. And here's the last one. And I'm just angling it at the side so the box is easier to close. All right, so now we're going to cut up on these score lines right here, like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to fold on all the score lines. So go ahead and get your bone folder back out and score on all of the score lines that we created. And this cardstock is pretty stiff, so it's good to make sure you get a good crease.
And this is the last one. Okay, so you're gonna have something that looks like this. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build our box. So we're just going to adhere it together like so. So I'm gonna again use my glue gun. If I can get it. Add a little bit of glue. Hold it in. And you do want to just press down firmly, make sure you have a good hold, and move on to the next little piece right here. We're going to repeat on all four sides. And this red glitter cardstock is so pretty and it's super sturdy. It makes a great gift box. And now we're coming down to the last one. And just hold it down. If you get any glue, just press it and you can quickly rub it away. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to fold the insides in and we're just going to adhere glue on the insides and we're gonna do it on all four sides. And I do like to do the opposite sides first. So I'm gonna do these two and then I'm gonna do these two. So I'm just gonna adhere some hot glue. And I'm gonna have to put another glue stick in. Just give me a second. And here we go. And you wanna quickly press down. If you have your bone folder, definitely use it. And if you have any glue, just peel it away. It's not a problem. It's sticking to me. All right, we have that side down. Now we're gonna do this side. Just remember when working with hot glue, you've got to work fast. So once you push, put it in there, make sure you use your bone folder and give it a nice crease on the inside. All right, now we can move along to the other two flaps. Press down, bone folder. See, if you don't press down quick enough, it won't adhere. <laughs> so it's really important to make sure you press down very quickly so that you your box will come together. You can always use um, double-sided adhesive if you want. That's also another option if you don't wanna use hot glue. I just like the sturdiness of the and the feel that the hot glue brings when you're making these boxes. So that's why I'm using hot glue, but feel free to use wet glue or double-sided adhesive would work as well. It's totally up to you, whatever you like to use. All right, so here is the base of our box. So this is complete. Okay, so now we're gonna make the lid for our box. Um, so you're gonna need a sheet of acetate, uh, foil acetate measuring five by five, and you're gonna score at the one inch um, score mark or score line. Um, rotate it all four sides. Score at one inch, one inch, one inch. 
and you'll have something that looks like this. Again, you're gonna want to take your bone folder, crease it on all four of your score lines. And this is the last one. So it'll look something like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all four of the boxes off, uh, the four corners off. So we're just going to, I like to cut at a diagonal because I think that um, it just sits a little bit nicer uh, in the box as far as it, when you, the, the, close, the closure. So I just cut it at an angle and I'm gonna do that to all four corners. And just a slight angle, it doesn't have to be a big one. You just cut up to that score line. And this is gonna be the last one. And you will have something that looks like this. And we're gonna put, take these pieces, put those off to the side. We don't need those. And then we have our box right here. And you're going to, obviously you'll stick your candies in, but this will just slide in like so. And there you have an adorable lid to your box. So this is the second box. Now we're gonna move along and make this box right here. And this is the larger version that I created, which I absolutely love. So next we're going to take a sheet of cardstock. Your cardstock, and I'm just going to fan this out so you guys can see completely. This measures eight, eight by eight, okay? And on each, um, each side, eight inch side, we are gonna score at one inch and two inches. And you're going to rotate and do that on all four sides. One inch, two inch, rotate. One inch, two inch, rotate. Until you have all four sides. I can't remember if I did all four now because I already scored it. But, so it's gonna look something like this and I will zoom out just a tad so you guys can see. So you're gonna have something that looks like this. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take off these three corners of the box like we did on all of um, the other ones, okay? So make sure you get your sharp scissors. You're going to, again, cut at a di diagonal. It just helps with um, the way the box is put together. And you're gonna take off all three of those boxes, just cutting down the score line, like so. It's gonna look something like that. I'm gonna rotate your paper, and again, do the same exact thing. Again, cut at a slight angle. I like to do that. And cut up here. And we're gonna cut this one off, like so. And again, cut at an angle on this side flap right here, like so. Again, come back over here. I guess you could just go like this as well, whatever is easiest for you, or faster. Again, I cannot cut a straight line to save my life. There's that one. We're gonna go back over to this side at an angle. Go up, cut those off. I'm gonna cut that small one off as well, another angle. And I'm just gonna cut it off a little bit more. I feel like you cut right on the score line, just making sure that it's cut off completely so we have a nice fold in our box. And now what we're gonna do is we're just going to cut up. So we create this little hinge. Cut up. 
that hinge, rotate, cut up. You have that hinge, rotate, cut up, and now you have this hinge. Okay, so we're gonna move that out of the way. We're going to get our bone folder because we wanna fold on all of our score marks. So we have that, and then fold on this one. And we're gonna do that on all four sides. Make sure you give it a good crease. It's really important when you're making boxes to have a really good crease. And again, I'm using heavyweight cardstock. So um, I highly recommend heavyweight cardstock for your boxes. Just gives it a nice finish and a nice sturdy feel. But again, you can use, um, you know, you can use 65 pound weight cardstock if you want. Now we're gonna go ahead and assemble the box. Again, I'm just gonna be using my hot glue because it's fast and easy. Feel, feel, feel free to use wet glue or double-sided adhesive. Whatever you decide, will, um, it, it will work. And I am just going to slightly cut this at an angle. I don't really feel like I got a good angle on that one right there. It does really help if you have a really nice angle. It'll make, allow your box to fold in nicely. I'm gonna cut this one a little bit better. Okay. All right, I think that's good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hot glue gun and we will adhere this like so. Give it a good firm push and move along to the next corner or the next square. Again, a nice firm push on the inside. Be careful it is hot and if you're worried about burning yourself definitely wear one of those finger protectants on your thumb and your pointer so you don't burn yourself because the hot glue is obviously hot and we're going to do this one right here and then we're going to move to the last one Kind of fold it down, add your glue, and line it up. Again, if you get any hot glue on the outside, it'll rub off, no problem. So don't worry about that. All right, so that's good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our hot glue on the inside of our box. I'm going to start with these two flat uh, flaps first, and then I'll do these two. All right, so we have this one ready. So I'm going to add my hot glue. Quickly get your bone folder, give it a good crease. Just helps smooth it down, the hot glue. Gives it a nice finish. It's so sturdy with this heavyweight cardstock. I love it. All right, we're gonna do this flap now. And remember, you do need to work pretty quickly once you adhere that hot glue. If you're worried that you can't work that fast, just use wet glue. Wet glue will work just fine. You could use your Barely Arts glue or your Fabri-Tac, which I absolutely love Fabri-Tac for this kind of project. Um, that will work. Now we're gonna fold these two flaps in. So again, I'm going in with my hot glue. Press down quickly, bone folder, give it a good press. And now we're gonna to move to the last and final flap right here. Add our glue. Quick. And good press. Okay. 
and I had a little hot glue ease ooze out right there, but that's fine. So you, now you have your sturdy box, which I absolutely love. So now we're gonna make the lid to um, for this box right here. And this paper measures eight, eight by eight. So your foil acetate needs to measure eight by eight. And what you're gonna do is you're going to score at the two inch, um, two inch line or two inch, uh, at two inches. And you're just going to rotate. So rotate, score at two inches, rotate, score, and then rotate and score. And then you're left with something that looks like this. And again, we're gonna repeat the same thing. We're going to cut off the four small squares so we can, we can assemble our box. Again, I like to cut at a slight angle when cutting off the squares. It just um, it helps uh, with sliding it into your, your box a little easier. And we're just gonna rotate till all four of these are off. Again, you can save these for another project if you want. And you're just cutting up to that score line and just cutting off that square. Again, you're gonna be left with a cross, something that looks like a cross. And this is the last one. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bone folder and we wanna give it a good, we're gonna press down on all four of the score, score lines. This acetate paper is so pretty, right? I mean, you can use hearts year round. It doesn't have to be just for Valentine's Day. Who doesn't love hearts? So you're gonna have your lid that looks like this and you're going to insert your goodies and I'm just gonna slide that in like so. So there's the lid for the box, which I love, super cute. And then you're gonna wrap it with your ribbon and put your goodies inside, add embellishments or embellishment or embellish it further. And there you go. So you have um, all of these different sized treat boxes that you can create. Um, I really hope that y'all give this a try. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye for now.